Hello everybody once again, welcome back to Siberia. This is part 17 and sitting over there wearing a gas mask is Helena Romanski. And I think she's had enough salt and sand in the face for one day, so she requires the assistance of James. So what we have to do is, I think, give him a bell? Uh, probably not there. I think we'll probably have to use the bell on the one that's a little bit closer to the spa. The one that was broken earlier. So let's head back down there. Down the pier. Yeah. Very, very strange. I mean, why would you come out here if you have to wear a gas mask and everything? I mean, he didn't have to wear a gas mask, um, you know, at the front of the building. Couldn't you walk around the train station or something? And there's not too much to see out here, really, is there? There we go. So let's see. Is is this a universal bell? But it seems to fit, at least. Okay. Can we give this a pull? We do now. That's it. Okay. Is that it? Do I need to do it twice or three times or something? I don't know. Another one, just for good luck, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's just back out of this. Is he on the way? Am I doing this wrong? You know what? We are so close to the spa. Let's just go in and talk to him directly. Let him know that Helena needs some assistance. He's got a wheelchair attached to him. I'm assuming she can't walk. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, we don't take the gas mask inside. No, that would be silly. No point weighing myself down. Right. Yeah, no point weighing yourself down with gas masks or lemons. There he is. He hasn't moved an inch. Did he not hear or... Oh, but we can just talk to him, right? Well, I hope so, anyway. James, what are you waiting for? Right. Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. The bell did indeed ring, but it is very windy outside, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is a bit gusty. But what's that got to do with it? Madam doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection, but my insides don't like the salty wind. Yes, you mentioned this I'm earlier. Afraid to go out, you know. Dicky wheel work and, and everything, right? Wore my mask to protect you against the salt. Would that help? Oh, most certainly. Really? Well, and off he goes. Well, so he's going to wear my gas mask? Automatons don't breathe. It would cover his face, I suppose. But what about his joints? Uh, whatever. Probably best not to ask too many questions. Oh. Wow, well, another phone call. Katie Poo. It's so, Mum. Have you met her yet? This Helena person? I have. What, what's she like? Does she remember Frank? Hi, Mum. Yeah, sure. I met her and, yeah, she's living in Arlbad. You can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too, honey. So, what's Arlbad like? Maybe Frank can take me there one day. It's this seaside resort, Ma, but it isn't what it used to be. You'd be real disappointed. Maybe you're right. So, when are you coming home? Is that mission all over then? Not really, Ma. I still haven't found the heir I'm looking for to wrap up the case. Helena Romanski's a kind of detour here. One of many. I get the distinct impression that you're being led up the garden path. I don't blame you. you. Just come home. Tell your boss this heir just doesn't exist. <laughs> that you've done all you can. Don't think and it hasn't crossed I... my mind. Do you want me to call him for it? It'd be you? so much easier. Ma, please, don't get involved. Looking for Hans Varlberg is what I'm being paid for. But I also just want to find him for myself. Honestly, you're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> don't complain that your mother didn't warn you. Don't worry, I won't. Okay. Was that James again? Oh, and look who he's brought inside. Brilliant. Okay. Now, we haven't actually talked to her about, well, what I require of her, so... Oh. Okay. Ah. We might be, uh, using the bar in a moment. Romansky. People have told me so much about you. Mm. People still talk about me. One person oh, does. Yeah. Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. How you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Ah, so I was, my dear. But surely you didn't come here just to dig up the past. No, no, not exactly. Well, you know who I am, so let's go to the mission. I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment, 
And because of it, I met a certain Mr. Sergei Borodin, director of the Komkalsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Ah, oh, I remember that factory. <gasps> oh, a sad city indeed. <laughs> what am I saying? They all were. Madam Romansky, this Borodin is one of your biggest fans. Yes. If you could come An understatement, I think, really. It would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my poor girl. I have not sung for years. Time has taken its toll. My voice is like the rest of me. Faded and wan, like my heart. Oh, oh this is all so depressing. There? I bet you've still got a great voice. Oh, you are the sweetest chair, my dear. I am not senile yet. <laughs> I look reality in the face every time I look in the mirror, and I can tell singing is something I did in the past. Well, maybe Sergei isn't really going to judge you on your quality. He just wants to hear you sing again. Um, can you help? Madam Romansky, please understand I would never have come so far to disturb you if I didn't really need your help. I understand, my dear, but my health is failing me, as does my voice. Believe me, no one is sadder than I. Oh, okay. Well, um, as I understand, you knew Hans? Strange. I get the impression that Hans Vorlberg turned up here, too. You know Hans Vorlberg? Not yeah, exactly. Sort of. I'm looking for him to sort out this inheritance. I know a lot about him, but, but I, I don't know him. I've snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail. Mm. And I guess he's kind of a close friend now. You knew him, didn't you? Oh, yes. I knew Hans Wallerberg. Do you hear, James? Ah, oh, if you had had the chance to meet Hans. My Hans. Oh, my God. What has become of him? Where is he? As questions go, madam, that one is not without certain complications. You're telling me. I'm sorry, but I have no idea. That's the goal of my mission, to find Hans Wallerberg. That's why I have to get back to my train as quickly as possible and to get out of Komkalsgrad. And you cannot find him without the train? The train is one of his last inventions. So is Oscar, the automaton engineer. I get the feeling that the two of them are going to lead me to him. Did you hear that, James? I might see Hans again. I have dreamed so oh. long of meeting my... Dearest sweetheart, again. maybe that's going to be her motivation. If only I could sing. If only I were in Paris, I would ask George for that miracle cocktail, the one that only he knew how to make. <laughs> I, James? We're going to be using the yes, bar soon. Madam, as you have frequently said, without that famous cocktail, your French tour would have probably been cancelled. I don't understand. An extraordinary tale, my dear. It was December. And it was terribly cold and damp. I had to play the role of Tatiana that evening at the opera. But since the morning, I had lost my voice. It drove me completely mad with worry. I don't know how George, the barman at the Moritz Hotel, heard about my affliction. But he brought me up a cocktail that he had invented. A strange concoction. But it turned out to be a miracle cure. Ah. My voice returned to me in an instant. So I'm going to have That's to make amazing. this cocktail, right? That's just what we need. Ah. We're going to mix you up a cocktail. Ah, That's the royal dear, way, Jack. is it? It is impossible. George never told me the recipe of the drink. He loved to keep his trade secrets. He said it made him absolutely irreplaceable. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get George to tell me. He <laughs> hasn't yet met with my powers of persuasion. Well, that implies that you can talk to him. So I'm wondering, actually, if the number that we found in the book last time, that's for the Moritz Hotel. Maybe that's a direct line straight to George. I don't know. Well, let's go through the other two. Look, please, you absolutely have to come with me to Comicalsgrad. It's the only way I'm going to get my train back and be able to carry on my journey. Your train? That's right. I've been traveling on this amazing locomotive with this automaton engineer. He isn't a million light years away from your James. 
<laughs> Do you hear that, James? And Automaton? You have a twin brother? How delightful. And I thought I was the only person alive able to put up with such a peculiar butler. Permit me to express my surprise, madam. <laughs> Surely the fact that I remain in your service guarantees my uniqueness. Oscar isn't my butler, though. He has a great independence of thought. Sometimes he does whatever suits him. Just mm. like you, James. Isn't that funny? Madam, we'll not be surprised to hear that she is strongly advised not to undertake a journey that, unless I am very much mistaken, will tire her needlessly. Oh, killjoy. James, only one of us will make that decision, and that person is me. I'm very curious to meet your automaton, my dear. Where is it? He had to stay with the train in Kamkalsgrad. The director used his hands for the final touches on his pianist. It's the same pianist that will accompany you when you sing. How quaint. Another automaton. And this one can he even play along with me? Play for me? That's oh. the idea. Why does my voice abandon me so now? Oh, well, hopefully we can fix that in a moment. But let's talk about you. You must have had a fantastic life. So exhilarating. Ah, much more than you could ever imagine. I used to sing the finest melodies of the moment in the most fantastic theatres around the world. I have been hailed by kings and courted by princes. Grown men would sink to their knees when they heard the first notes of my recital. All right, all right. My no need to brag. break crystal glass and hearts. Many hearts. Impressive. I'm not surprised. Then one day sickness steals away the gift life has given you. My voice started to betray me. I started to get migraines. My health failed. They sent me here to let this spa town weave its healing spell. I was only going to rest for a month, but then the month became a year and the years get longer. But you She's been so here for like two decades now, hasn't she? Oh, thank you, my dear. Right. Well, that's as far as we go talking to her. I think what we need to do now is probably mix up this drink. I'll but let you get a bit I... of rest. Thank you for listening to me. I it don't know how to do it. Real pleasure, my child. So I think we need to give you George a call. A charming young lady, and simply talking to you has warmed my soul. Okay. Right. Now, where's that piece of paper? Because I did write all this down, didn't I? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So let's get the phone out. Let's try this again. Perhaps now, for some reason, it'll work. Now let's see, four, six, four, three. Three, six, four, three. Yeah? It's a shame you can't save the numbers. Hello, Hotel Moritz? Oh, there you go. Reception here, can I help you? I'd like to talk to Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. Hmm. I'll connect you with the bar. Just a moment. <laughs> it's the same holding music that my office uses as well. Hello, hotel bar? Hi. I'd like to talk to George, please. George? You mean Mr. George? Uh, yeah. Probably. Uh, he must have been a barman at the Moritz in the 50s. Well, don't want to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. What was it about? I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. I absolutely must know what was in it. It's a matter of life and death. I'd love to help you, ma'am, but you see, old George, now he knew a lot of cocktails. One hell of a barman and one hell of a reputation. He did write down his recipes before he left, but if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly? Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah. The Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret... Boco Poco, Blue Helena, Red Mamba... That's the one, probably. Helena! Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. The Blue Helena. Oh, Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Blue Helena, you say? Mm -hmm. Let's see. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure okay. of honey, a dash of lime okay, and ice right. Shake it all together, and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. You have been most helpful to me. Right. Please tell me you wrote that down, because... Oh fuck, there was there was quite a lot there to be honest. Okay. Right. Uh I, I don't know, let's see. Oh actually, yeah. 
Maybe now I can pick up the stuff that was down here. Maybe it's not going to weight me down anymore, because I probably need to use it, right? So, right, yes. So that is... That's a lemon. Okay. That is... Honey. He did mention honey. He probably mentioned a lemon as well. I... Maybe I should have been writing this down. Can I give him another call? Maybe I can. I don't know. Did I actually list that somewhere? Uh, I don't think I did. I guess I can give him another call. Okay. Anything else? No, don't need any more additional lemons or any other equipment, it seems. Right, let's take a look at this, because this is honestly quite intimidating. I've been told, actually, in a private message that this is the hardest puzzle in the game. And I've been given a hint that it might not be able to help me out, but, um... I don't know. That's, uh... That's a lot to deal with. Hang on, what's this? Ah! Okay. White wine, red wine, champagne, crimp... Oh my, I don't know. Vodka was definitely mentioned. What's all this? Okay. Sure. So, each drink is a note? I think? Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Wait, hang on. Uh, oh Christ. Um, where did I put that thing? <laughs> Musical score, that's the one. Let's have a look at it again. Oh, I see, so the, the two symbols, yeah. Are they are they in groups or something? Or, or is that one specifically champagne? That one specifically cognac? I don't know. Okay, let's just back out of this. I'm getting to get confused, I think. So... It's like a piano! Right, okay, I'm, I'm starting to understand why this is sort of complex and uh, one of the hardest puzzles in the game, so... These are buttons as well. Ice cubes, right? That's gotta be for ice cubes. That was mentioned. All right. Ah, that, that was the on button, I see. Right, so... Did I just add ice cubes? This is presumably where it's all gonna get mixed up. There's a cow... So, milk, I'm assuming? Lemon? Right? Well, nothing seems to happen. Probably because I haven't added the lemon itself. Uh... That could be for the, the honey. Because that's a honeycomb, right? Oh, and that, that mixes it all up. I see, I see. What? Well, I, I didn't really want to do that. I... Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to be wrong. It's missing a few key ingredients. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. From what backwater of hell did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? No. It's a, a, a blue Helena. No, you can't bullshit your way through this possible. one. The blue Helena had a color that was like um, blue and uh, an aroma like um, you understand its texture was not quite so. Uh, mm. uh, it didn't taste like milk and ice cubes. Is that what you're saying? Blue Helena, make an effort, my child. All right, All right. Okay. I guess I'll try out another mix. Only the best for you, madam. Right, I I need to call that guy up again, because I don't think I've noted down all the ingredients. Uh, I've got a pen handy now, so... Yeah, shame. Real shame you can't sort of save phone numbers. Hello again, it's me. It does work, right? Hi, it's yes. me again. Could you give me that blue Helena recipe again, yes, please? Yes, slowly this time. Why, sure. One measure of vodka. Right. One measure of blue Carasso. One blue Carasso. Of honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes. And shake. Right. Got honey. It. Thanks a lot. Dash of lime. The lemon, I guess, will suffice. And ice cubes. So there's five things. There's vodka, the blue Carasso, the, the honey, the, the lime, or the lemon, I'm hoping. Ice cubes. Okay, so milk doesn't get involved. Milk does not get involved at all. Okay. Right. Thank you very much for that. I've noted that down. Hopefully I can work this all out now. So. What on earth do I do? I have... I've got these two things. Uh, when I press these buttons... Looks like nothing happens. Nothing seems to get added. It's because... I haven't put them in the right location, I guess. Something up here. That's it, isn't it? Is that for the honey? Or the lemon? That's for the lemon. That's where the lemon goes. Okay. Um, so I'll just I'll just do this. Right. I get it. I get it. I get it. So the lemon juice has been added in. 
Oh, we've actually duplicated the lemon thanks to a glitch. That's pretty damn good, actually. That's amazing. Um, there's another slot over there. There's another two slots. There's another two slot. That's the vodka. And this must be the crystallized honey. Right. Again, sort of glitching up. So now the honey works. Right? No? No? Why doesn't the honey work? Okay, we can't take the lemon out. We can't take the vodka out. We can take the crystallized honey out. Interesting. Okay. Um, sure. Have I fucked this up already? I'm not sure, to be honest. So... Okay, I, you're going to have to leave this with me, to be honest. I'm going to have to see if I can work this out. So, let's go back to that... Let's go back to the musical store. There's blue. There's the blue sar uh, carousel. Okay, so it was vodka and that. Oh, God, I don't know. How am I meant to read this? It's, it's kind of odd, to be honest. Let me just let me just see. It's got it's got to be something to do with this piano, right? Oh God, I don't know what what am I doing? I've definitely fucked it up now. So I can press every single one. Hang on, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Let's let's switch it over. And they still work? Okay. This is going to be the worst drink ever. She's going to be disgusted by this one when I mix it up. Is there no way of just getting rid of it and starting over without giving it to her? There probably isn't, you know. Okay. Uh, it seems on, uh, like this symbol, it's lower, and on this one, it's higher. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's have a look at this again. So, this is, this is the high, and this is the low, is that right? Why would you do it like this? Why can't you just have buttons that say vodka, white wine, red wine, or something like that? Why do you need buttons at all? Can't you just get the bottle and do it yourself? Ah, oh, Christ almighty. Ah, oh, just give her a tequila. Just get her, fucking, make her pass out. And we'll just smuggle her out of here. I don't know. Shit. This is kind of awkward. Don't do it. You're gonna hate it. It's probably gonna kill you. If you thought your voice was bad... Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Right. I guess... I will have to try another blend. <sighs> right. Okay. So, let's flick this back. This is how it was to start with. If we're reading this correctly... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right, so I think it's split in half. I think... Uh, I think the bottom half of this is, uh, well, the, the, the bottom seven are on this switch, and the top seven are on the other switch, on the, on the right one, where it's sort of higher notes. So this is, this is a, a scale of sorts, in, in pitch terms, I don't really know the musical terms. Um, so, does that mean the lowest? Like, that would, is that rum? That's rum, and then if I switch this over, and maybe that one would be... What was it? Red wine? White wine? White wine? I don't know. I don't know. You press a button and then things just happen. You don't see where it's coming from. You don't see which bottle it's coming from. I'm starting to understand why this is a hard puzzle. This is very, very complex, and I still haven't figured out this honey. Yes, I have. I, well, I think I have. Let's just back out of this. It's, it's the sauna, right? That's why we had to heat up the water. It shouldn't be crystallized. I'm pretty damn sure. That's probably why it's not going in. They wouldn't go in as crystals. Uh, where was it? It was it was over on this side, wasn't it? Where, where those two guys were playing chess. That's right. Is it still bubbling away? I don't think I turned it off. Uh, possibly? Yes, yes. It's, it seems to have started up again anyway. And that's what we needed to use with it. That's it. That's it. Okay, so that's that's how you deal with the honey. 
Now, presumably, when I put the honey back, the honey button will work. Okay. Well, it is liquid honey now. That's more like it. That's much more like it. Let's go back. Give this another try. Okay, so the liquid honey goes in there. And it seems that we can't take it out again, so that's fine. Everything is where it should be. There's nothing missing. I don't think so. Right, so vodka. We've got blue carousel. That's that's in there somewhere. That's one of the keys. Honey, sure. Lime, we're going to use lemon. That's fine. And ice cubes. That's easy enough. And then we just mix it up, and that should be a blue Helena. And that should be it. So let's go through this. I'm thinking that... Oh, Christ, you know what? There's a lot to do here. Give me a few moments. I'm just going to note all that stuff down. Sort of come up with a plan of action. Hopefully I can figure this out. Okay, so I've just made a few notes. Basically drew this on a piece of paper so I don't have to keep pulling it out to reference it. I think for vodka, it's going to have to be the second key on the, the lower scale, the lower pitches. Uh, when the lever's sort of going straight up. And when the lever's on the right, that's when I use I think the third one because it's split into it's in 14 in in sections of seven you know so one two three that's what I'm thinking I guess we'll find out god damn this is complex okay right does it have to be in order I don't know let's do it in order to make sure I should have it correctly so uh, vodka should be the second one there's no confirmation of that. It looks like that hasn't gone down at all, you know? Oh, man. Uh, okay, so... We've got the blue carousel. out. That's going to be on this side. And I'm hoping that's going to be the third one. Something's going in. Okay. Now we need honey. Right, the liquid honey drips down. That's good, that's good. And now we need a lime, or a lemon. And that is followed up by ice cubes. I don't believe there's any other ingredients. Okay. I think we might be done. Let's see what she makes of it, I suppose. It's the moment of truth. I, I If that's wrong, I really got no idea what to do. Please drink it. Don't just put it down. Thank you! Thank you! My voice. Wow. My God. That is that a is good drink. Horrific. It was too good to be true. George's Blue Helena is powerless. <laughs> Ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back, hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. Right. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. Huh. That's harsh. Wait, so that's it? So she's not coming with me? No, 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 no. She needs to, doesn't she? The blue Helena really does have a magical effect. Yeah. Your voice is sensational. You sounded okay. I am not convinced. Ugh. If my voice has really returned, it is not ready. It is still not powerful enough. I oh. tell you, you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam, when you would test your vocal prowess by breaking crystal tableware and decorations. Ah, those were the days. That's why I've got the glass, <laughs> isn't it? Shards of crystal. That's it. I could never the crystal be. dish. Well, I don't know about that. Give it a try. No? Seriously? No? What do I do with this then? No, there's, there's got to be something. 
Oh, hang on. I, th I think I just use it down here. Very specifically. Oh, this part is so awkward. Okay. Well, now that that's been placed down, perhaps she can give it a try. My voice. Nice. Why wow, you stopped the music? <laughs> You've still got it. My God, what have I done? My voice has returned. Did you hear that, James? My voice, my voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, you're no spring chicken these days. Time has taken its toll. And you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you have fun on your own. Madam, leaving you is quite out of the question. Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Uh. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As ever. Oh, that's a do shame. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Comcallsgrad? You do, my dear. Yes. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away. All I'll right. I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. James, take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick, quick. What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for me. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? Shut up, James, and put your foot on it. <laughs> she can be quite demanding, can't she? She's just used to the finer things, I suppose. Special treatment. And off she goes. It's a bit of a shame that James isn't going to come with us, because I'd like to see the interaction between him and Oscar, to be honest. But there you go, right. That puzzle took way too goddamn long, honestly. That was the hardest puzzle in the game so far. Definitely. Even even the hint that I got in the private message didn't make too much sense. Perhaps, I don't know, I'll have another look at it and maybe it'll make some sense, I don't know. Thanks for trying, anyway, whoever did that. Uh, okay, so... Do we just head back to the airship and await her? I suppose so. I think we, we might be leaving Arrowbad now. Anything left to do? I've still got these metal shears and screwdriver and everything. They don't seem to have another use, but I'm I'm hanging on to them for some reason. Well, let's just go back to the airship and await Helena Romanski. <laughs> He's over there. Still watching the game? Okay. I guess I can't have been doing that puzzle for too long. And it looks like the fountain has been fixed, yeah. Sorry about that, Felix. Had to be done, though. Had to be done. Up we go. Perfect, isn't it, really? They got a train station and one little area for airships. Who is it this time? Hello? Hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs, then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that Romansky chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long? I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question, that's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. <laughs> You've got me worried. Some dodging questions here. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. Really? I can't sleep anymore. I, I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. <laughs> Dan. Oh, what happened? What about Dan? Has something happened to him? What has she done? We. Oh. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right. They were dating, situation. I think. I... What? After the Goldbergs, Dan took me home. We were a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap and then, okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all well, she's 
calm and collected, surprisingly. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but but then we got so close lately and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I, Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to die. Ugh. Look, don't bust a gut over it. Wow. You and Dan, it's it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. Hasn't quite here yet, I, I need guess. To process this new or maybe she data. just doesn't care. Are you like some automaton or something? <laughs> Kate! Come on, she wouldn't say that. She'd say robot. I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own. Well, that I can understand. My life is falling to fucking pieces. But at least Miss Romansky's on the way. Wow. Well, there you go. That was our old bad. It looks like we're going back to Grad now. So we can listen to her performance and hopefully get Oscar's hands back so we can get on the train and continue our journey to Siberia. Putting a lot of trust in that autopilot right now. Here we are then. Even the automatons are watching. Really? <laughs> Ring in his hands. <laughs> he loves it. It's a shame there's no subtitles for this. What was that? Wait. No. no. Like an evil genius. Are you serious? That's why he was wringing his hands. He's, that's Dr. Evil under there, isn't it? Bloody hell, he's got her trapped. Oh man, I do want to keep playing, but I think I'm going to have to end this on a cliffhanger. It took me so long to do that drink puzzle. I've been playing for like 45, 50 minutes now, so thank you very much for watching Siberia Part 17. In Part 18, we'll deal with this situation. Crazy. See you next time. And we give this a pull. We do now. That's it. Okay. Is that it? Hello, Hotel Moritz? Oh, there you go. Just a moment. <laughs> it's the same holding music that my office uses as well. From what backwater of hell did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? No. It's a, a, a blue Helena. No, you can't bullshit that your way through this possible. one. Could you give me that blue Helena recipe again, yes, please? Yes, slowly this time. Why, sure. Right, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, the lemon juice has been added in. Oh, we've actually duplicated the lemon, thanks to a glitch. That's pretty damn good, actually. That's amazing. Oh, God. I don't know, what, what am I doing? I'm starting to understand why this is a hard puzzle. This is very, very complex, and I still haven't figured out this honey. 
Yes, I have. If that's wrong, I really got no idea what to do. Please drink it. Don't just put it down. Thank you! Wait. Is... No. 